What is going on, my fellow gamers? Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back after like six months of waiting for Assassin's Creed 3. We finally made it. Um, basically, short. Life has sucked the last couple months for a lot of people. And it's never really felt like doing anything. It's when I don't have access to a Switch or anything, I just kind of game with the thing. But that's okay, because now I'm like, let's do things, things are looking up. That means we can get back into playing a game. 412, jeez, okay, maybe that was eight months ago. Our recording saying six months ago. That's weird. So who the hell is Daniel Cross? Believe it or not, he used to be an assassin. The assassin, the way I've heard it told, but it turned out he was a sleeper agent for Abstergo, programmed to infiltrate and destroy the organization. How did he know you were there? We could be compromised. They must have caught me snooping inside their network and sent Cross to see what we were after. If they were aware of our current location, we'd know. Though, I will say this. It doesn't bode very well for future expeditions. I've set up some cameras topside. If anyone shows up, we'll see it. I'd suggest you go see about finding a socket for that power source. Or we can return to Connor if you prefer. All the artifacts in the world won't mean a thing without the key. So, okay, so either play as Connor or play as Desmond. Well, I guess we can do Desmond's thing. I'm assuming we just go this way. Nope, we do not just go that way. Huh. I don't, I don't really remember what happened. Apparently July 5th was the last episode, which is actually right near that anniversary date. And then No Premonition came out a week later, which was, you know, amazing when I could play it. So, I'm actually, like, I don't even like, so it's going to be a signal of bearing street. And hopefully we can find this power socket while I'm just... Blasting around here. In the beginning, when we thought we could be saved, we sought to face the sun's wrath and contain it. Four towers would be built to pull her fury into this place and dispel it. But even with all we knew, with all we had, it would take too long. A thousand years we could labor and still the work would not be done. The first tower was never completed. The project abandoned. We moved on. But while we labored on other endeavors, a few returned. They thought to automate the process. Metal might finish what flesh could not. What? I'm assuming this is the right way then. The power socket is up here, but we've got to figure out what to freaking do. So you can't jump there. I think you can jump there, but I guess not. Jump that. 
Can I shimmy? I cannot shimmy at all. <sighs> well, I thought he could ju jump to that. Guess not. Outdated game mechanics. That I've heard they've been using the same mechanics for Revelation or the new one in, in Revelations, which are Revelations, which really impresses me. Jimmy now what doesn't help me now though um I guarantee it's not what you're supposed to do but cheese tactics but it's not really oh We could not meet the sun's cruel embrace. Perhaps we might rebuke it. Already we could generate the fields to protect us in times of strife. But these were small and simple things. To replicate them on a scale the size of a world. We lack the energy to make it so. Half the world, they said then. It is better than none at all. We tried. Again, we failed. A quarter, they asked. Even this we could not do. A sixth, an eighth, a tenth, they cried. The answer was still the same. Perhaps in time a city might be spared. But it was time we did not have. So we moved on. Story's good, don't get me wrong. Wonder what's inside. And one way to find out. Than I was supposed to do, which makes it feel better. <coughs> like, please don't just jump off randomly. So, I saw that door open down here. Hi, Juno. You're still here. <coughs> I wonder if you're not. Wait, wait, what are you supposed to do this in? What is a fact? Is it fixed? Immutable? Certain in its existence and only awaiting discovery? Or might it be changed? Here we learned the answer and thought that it might save us. They were used to command, to control, to own. But we soon discovered another use. When enough sat in thrall and were told to believe, their thoughts took on form. What was imagined became real. If a hundred minds could wish away a wall or create a tree, what might a thousand do? Ten thousand? More? Might we change the consensus and will the threat away? We resolved to send one into the sky where it might illuminate us all. Once placed, a sentence would be uttered. Make us safe. In this way, we would change the consensus. We would save the world. 
but it never came to be. We sent a dozen of them skyward, but there was no way to maintain control, to direct the beam, to enthrall the world, to speak the words. Though this was strange and dangerous, what we tried next was worse. This should be pretty easy. I mean, the question is, like, I don't get what the point is. I mean, I'm not using a guide for this part. I'm just like, stuff I can do, I might as well do it. Our first instinct was to travel back, to change the past. But we could not find a way. But forward. We could look forward, and so here we sought to see beyond ourselves, and know what was to come. First we wanted to learn if our work would succeed, but the answer was always the same. So we moved on to other things, but she remained. The one you call Minerva. In time, she too stopped looking. Instead, began to speak. She called out across time in the hopes that you might be saved. She hid messages where none might find them, save for you and those within this place. Fascinating. Tired of it. The cryptic warnings, the threats. Just tell us what you want! But they are. like grasshoppers in our own eyes and we look the same to them. Imagine trying to explain all this to a two-year-old, to a grasshopper. When they said the will of the gods was unknowable, they meant it. Literally. I killed her, you know. I killed Lucy. It was the apple, son. It was Juno. I saw what she was. What would happen if I let her live? I could have stopped myself. I mean, there was a force there. But I didn't have to. I chose to. Desmond. Lucy was going to betray us and take the apple back to Abstergo. I saw the satellite launched. I saw them turn it on, and then... It failed. Whatever's on the other side of that door, it benefits... Juno, we need to be careful. I mean, it's a very good point. <sighs> the challenge because I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm just like for going until. Normally you see the Juno or Minerva or whatever her name is. Oh great, it's one of these puzzles where you just keep going in circles so you figure it out. What's that? Hold on, that may be my answer. Nope, no answer there. No. Okay. Guys, one second. I gotta pause. Okay, back to what we were doing. That was a slot.
like the way up. Not to be just fucking. Okay, this may be actually what I was trying to do. Yeah, there's what's her name, and then. Wait. I don't have the source thing, do I? I hate my life. I'm really disappointed in that. I can't do it yet, so... Son? Oh. I, uh... I owe you an apology. I... I shouldn't have lashed out like that. You have to understand, I've never been very good at this. Never mind that we live rather... extraordinary lives. I kinda liked my ordinary one. You can't escape who you are, Desmond. So I've noticed. Look, it's silly for us to go back and forth like this. I admit, I did a shitty job raising you. I apologize, I'm sorry. But it's important you understand it didn't come from a bad place. You're my son. I love you. I guess I was so busy trying to make sure nothing bad happened, I didn't consider the consequences. Truce. I can't believe it's taken me so long to ask, but... How's Mom? She's not... No, 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 no. Your mother is fine. We decided it was safer if we split up for this job. Always assuming the worst. <laughs> for good reason. Can I at least say hi to her? I'm sorry, it's too risky. Maybe when we're done. Right. When we're done. That's depressing. Can I move on from this? Okay. So I guess what we'll do is leave things off here next time on Assassin's Creed 3. We'll just jump right back into Connor. How many messages? Patch notes. Just emails from these two dingleberries. Alright guys, next time on Assassin's Creed 3, we jump back into the Animus to visit Connor. Because we all know I can't pronounce names. So I'll see you then.